So it's coming up for six o'clock in the evening here in the screen lounge at Fingit Square, Film and Digital Media Centre, and uh, at the M4U convention organised by Sean Carroll. What a cracking job he's done. I've done some great interviews today. I've really enjoyed it. And there's lots of lights and uh, noises throughout the building and stuff. And, I, and I'm joining Nick Rothwell here, who's actually doing a performance this evening. So he's having a bit of a bit of a warm up. He's got flash, he's got lights behind him. Lights, lights in front of him, computer. Lights all over. Yes. Lights all over. How are you, Nick? You okay? I'm fine, yes. Just doing some good, good. fascinating uh, preparation, uh, bug fixing, yeah. making sure all the lights are fastening they're supposed to and don't flash from the arm. So you've made your way out from London, is that right? Yep. I was up here uh, on Thursday and a workshop today on uh, programming for Maximus P, which is the media tool for the uh, performances here. And then, yes, just to play into a wrap up the evening with a bit of, I don't know, live electronic, all controlled by, as you can see, flashing lights and buttons. And you were saying you do a lot of things with um, dance companies and things that go all over the world as well. Yeah, so just, just explain a little bit about what you do sort of day to day. Well, my background is software, but I've done a lot of work in the arts over the years. So anything from doing music, composition, sound design, through interactive video, so other video processing and animation sometimes, working with sensors, so I've got a dance piece on top at the moment which is using lasers for triggering, and lots of work with dancers who want to essentially build environments they can work with where they can control sound, control visuals, um, or just interacting with dance companies, so creating sound with them in the studio as they're making pieces, creating video work and animation as they're, as they're working as well, so any kind of collaboration. Now, the whole convention is around Max and uh, MSP, yep. and, and, and I think a lot of the feedback I've had from a lot of people I've spoken to, including David Zaccarelli, the CEO of Cycling 74, is it's, it's good to come and meet the people on the front line, if you like, the, the people that are using it day to day to do yeah. so many different things. So it's almost like it's for the pr practitioners of different crafts as opposed to the technical side. I mean, from your point of view, how, how important or vital or essential is Max and MSP to what you do? Well, I'm, I guess I'm one of the long-term users because I bought the first copy of Max back in, what, 20 years ago, 1991, when it came on one floppy, and was one manual, and I had on my old Mac Plus, remember the Mac Plus, the uh, you know, this is toaster shaped Certain computer. people will class that as vintage now, wouldn't they? Yes, it's back in fashion again. <laughs> so I've been, you know, it's a long time. And just to be able to use the tools not designed to force you to work in a certain way, but it's actually designed to let you build your own tools. I think this, this is the key. This is the key that's come from everybody. It's not something that it dictates how you use it. And, and, and someone said to me, you don't have to change your project to fit the software. The software allows you to kind of almost like expand your mind and go and go where you think you need to go. So. Yes, I mean, it's, it's an enormous, you know, Macano set, but with an infinite number of pieces, you never run out. And you can build, build what you need to, build what you want. You can explore it to where... Uh, investigating some kind of process, some kind of way of thinking about making art, so it kind of lets you go down the as well, and it doesn't force you to think in a certain way, it's not like recording on tape or recording in a computer, which is very linear, it's not like uh, doing standard video editing, which is also very linear, very based on kind of film and TV process, it lets you just use the media in a very free way non-linearly making things that respond so you can take a keyboard and control video, you can take a camera and control music, you can take sensors and control lights, anything in, anything out is the, uh, the motto that like on the stage, which is very fitting I think. And what's it like to have a convention um, that, of, of something that you're really, really interested in? Obviously, it's vital to what you do from your, in, in your, sort of your work life, right here in, in the UK. Uh, it's useful. I went to the convention in uh, Brooklyn last October, which is good, but it was you know, expensive. I went to fly to New York and you know, hotel for a few days. And there's actually a really big community in, in the UK and in, in continental Europe as well. So it's really good to have one that's kind of focused on this side of the Atlantic. And it means I get a chance to actually meet face to face people I've known just by email for like 10 years or more. To actually finally meet them face to face, open laptops, chat about ideas, and you know, have some beers is very valuable. That kind of face FaceTime communication is a really okay. important thing, I think. So, if I was to ring someone there and say, come down to the Phoenix for Nick Rothwell's performance, mm -hmm. um, what would they be expecting to see? How, would, how do you describe? what someone would experience? Oh, it's, it's kind of 
a live sound set, so it's very pulse based, not really kind of from a rhythm that much, but very much based on pulses, and it's very interactive. You see lots of people who give the laptops to kind of stare and they do the keyboard stuff as they kind of do their taxes. And hopefully, this set is more, as you see with the lights and the buttons, more kind of a set where people can see that the sound is being crafted and made and controlled. Mm actually it's part of the process. Yes. And yeah, it may go wrong here and there, it may sound a bit rough around the edges, but that's an important part of the process, showing it's actually being made into people's eyes and ears rather than just played back because I've been recording in the studio. Now, just the final thing, and I'll, I'll let you get on, because I know when all these people, there's people going into the film there that people can yeah. see in the distance, we're still a functioning cinema while we've got the convention on, and then you're going to do your sound check, so I'll let you get on, but it's what's really struck me over the last two days, and David Zaccarelli picked up on it this morning as well, is everyone seems to be really happy that's hanging out around Max and MSP, it almost, it's almost like you've got this smile because you've got the freedom to do what you want to do with it, rather than it telling you what to do, it's very strange not to go to a, a convention about a particular piece of software where most people are talking about bugs and issues and problems and how do you solve this and all that and everyone here seems to be so open and friendly and willing to share what they're doing and stuff like that I mean is it is it a good sector to be in what you do? It is I think there's always a danger with these, these kinds of products is that you end up sort of working on your own all the time and as an artist that often happens you're there with your laptop in your, your studio or your back bedroom doing this stuff and the chance to actually get out of that environment and just meet people who are doing the thing as well, and actually just you know, share ideas and see what each other's doing. And that, just that kind of that social activity, yeah. I think is a really the positive value thing. of face to face. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Yeah. So it's a, and we can now go away having met, you know, having met each other. You know, we now know what we like. You know, we know what beers we like to drink. We know where we meet. And it's become, yes, it's a very kind of social event, and hopefully a social event that's ongoing as uh, we carry our art practice forward. Excellent. Nick, thanks very much, and uh, good luck with the performance this evening. Thank you.